All right, before the video begins, I just got to address a statement I made in the um, Unrealism That Ruins Tarkov video, and that is uh, I criticized the semi-majestical powers of Golden Star Bomb, and then I bought some and rubbed it on my face while at the gym, and then set a new personal record for bench. So I'm not going to draw up any conclusions quite yet, and I will simply say that inv investigations will continue. Uh, anyways, I think it was pretty obvious based on the types of weapons that I recommend on this channel that I was eventually going to get to this thing. And, um, yeah, I absolutely love the SAG AK. 545, five. what a mouthful. I'm just gonna call it the SAG for the rest of the video. I know that sounds awful, but I can't say SAG AK545 five for the rest of the video. That will be equally as terrible. So we're gonna go for the one that saves time. Uh, anyways, the SAG is an absolutely incredible weapon that I highly recommend everyone uses. Um, sticking to the formula that I've arbitrarily established, we're gonna start with the downsides, and there are very few with this thing. Um, obviously, it's semi-automatic. Up close, you are going to be at somewhat of a disadvantage against other weapons that are fully automatic. Can it work up close? Well, absolutely. Do you also sacrifice most of the advantages you hold over other weapons when you use this thing up close? Yes. So, when you're using this thing, I highly recommend you stick to the, like, 10 to 20 meter range. That is where this thing is going to absolutely shine. Um, but if you are completely desperate, then yes, this thing will work up close. But you will be at a bit of a disadvantage, even if your trigger finger is absolutely insane. Um... The only other thing I can think of that's a disadvantage is maybe it's price? Like, okay, it's completely overpriced from Skier. Don't buy it from Skier. It's 70k for some freaking reason. Um, that being said, on the flea market, it is like 50,000 rubles. <laughs> and yes, that is more expensive than a standard AK-74 from Proper. That being said, if you buy the short version, which often comes with the muzzle device, you are getting a 77 Ergo 57 recoil package straight from the flea market for 50,000 rubles. All you have to do is slap a sight on that thing and you are good to go. And that is far cheaper than a modded AK. And you know, even if you buy the, the longer version, which comes with the worst muzzle device, you're still looking at 62 recoil. And if you have traders unlocked, you can immediately get one of the, if you have level three skier, you can get the, I, I, I'm not sure what it's called. It's the kind of good 545, but not great muzzle break. This one right here. This one will work completely fine on the longer version of the SAG, and it will be very good until you unlock Mechanic 3, where you can then get the JMAC Customs Break, which is just an absurdly good muzzle break. Seriously, this thing is insane. My favorite part about the SAG is this low uh, flea market price is present even at the early wipe. So seriously, when I was doing the, you know, level 15 to level 24 grind, this is the thing that I use almost religiously. It is a very good weapon in the early wipe, and even towards the later end of the wipe, this thing will be very successful if you know how to use it. So in one word, why you should use the SAG is because of ergonomics. Seriously, this thing is the ergo king. You buy one from the flea market for like 50,000 rubles, you pay another like 30,000 to 35,000 max on additional mods, and next thing you know, you've got one of these things that's got 100 ergonomics. Seriously, it is really freaking nice. This ergonomic um, wonder doesn't come at the expense of having terrible recoil because you can get 100 ergo and have like 52 recoil. Even if you want to slap like a 60 round magazine, you're still going to get about 90 ergo. It's, it's freaking incredible. It, it does start to drop off a little bit more once you start to go for the minimizing recoil builds. If you want a suppressed variant, you can get the Waffle Maker. The Waffle drops the recoil down to like 46 to 48 while still having over 80 ergo, which is insane. If you want minimum recoil, I don't really recommend going for the minimum recoil because it's a semi-automatic gun and the recoil is already very controllable at like 50. But if you want to be that guy and you want to get this thing down to the lowest recoil possible you can drop it down to about 35 using an rk2 the waffle maker and that one m4 stock that i i don't remember what it's called it's this one right here and even then it still has i think like 55 ergonomics which is pretty solid considering that you have 35 recoil 
And if you want really low recoil but decent ergo, you can just swap out the RK2 for any other foregrip and it goes from like uh, 35 to 39 recoil, but all of a sudden you have 70 ergonomics and 39 recoil and 70 ergonomics is pretty freaking good. Seriously, this thing is a laser beam when you tap away with it, even with 50 recoil, and for that reason, I would heavily, heavily suggest you use magnified optics. You can use like a holographic or any of the other non-magnified sights if you want to. However, it does make it a bit harder to capitalize on this thing's just absurd performance at medium range. If you wanted to, you could put on the Elcan or you could put on a Valade. And while that would make it slightly better at longer ranges, I think ultimately this thing shines when you just put a Monstrum 2X on it. Seriously, I freaking love this combination. It is so freaking good on basically, I take this thing into woods whenever I need to run in there. I take it on the customs all the damn time. It's just so freaking good. Even with these larger scopes, you still have 100 ergonomics, so the gun is still very easy to handle, it's very snappy, you aim in really, really quickly, and this makes those one-tap headshots so, so, so much more satisfying. Now you might be thinking, hey, wait a minute, the STM-9 can do a lot of that stuff, but you hate the STM-9. And yes, the STM can do a lot of this stuff, but I absolutely despise the STM for one big reason. It's ammo. Seriously, 9mm, even AP 6.3 is just not great. It travels really slowly and it's not going to be doing a lot against armor. The SAG does not have this problem. Its ammo moves quickly, and armor-piercing ammo is very, very easy to get. Seriously, even, even especially since um, Tier 5 armor is a lot less common now, even BT is really freaking good for a majority of cases, and BS is still very accessible. I have been using the SAG for a solid week to get enough footage for this video. I did not collect or purchase any additional ammo for it during this week, and I still have 500 rounds of BT available. I have over a thousand rounds of BS just chilling in my stash waiting to be used in the late wipe. Seriously, high-end 545 is stupidly easy to acquire right now. It's freaking everywhere. If you need 545 BT or BS or PPBS, I... PPBS is, you know, it kind of works. I do not recommend using it in the SAG solo because its damage is super low and with the semi-automatic gun, you're already kind of not working with much and the fact that it's just not necessary with how much pen it has in most cases. So stick to BS or BT. But anyways, if you are in need of BT, BS, or Ignogliac, then all you have to do is go to the Hunter's Shed on Woods. Seriously, I find a 120 pack of BS or BT there so often. Now what the hell these guys are hunting that they felt it necessary to stockpile high-end armor-piercing ammunition in their hunting shed? Um, I don't know, but I really hope I don't freaking run into one. So yeah, honestly, if you want to understand how freaking ridiculous this thing is, just stick a 2x on it, mod it up to 100 ergo, load it with BT or BS, and go have a damn good time. It is a stupidly fun weapon, and it's also quite good, and I really highly recommend you use it. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully it didn't sound too much like I was ranting, but I absolutely freaking love this gun. Uh, next week is going to be the SMG stereotypes, so I've already got quite a few, but if you have any ideas for that, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I 
I really hope you enjoyed. Incredible ergo, and you can tap, tap, tap away to your heart's consent. Consent, what the fuck?